morning guys welcome to another video today is Tuesday September 3rd it is the day after Labor Day which means that fall is upon us and for today's video I've got a little something exciting planned I'm going to do a full fall themed pumpkin spice and everything nice cheat day I found a ton of pumpkin spice things and today we are going to be basic I'm gonna be trying out a bunch of stuff that I've seen and we're gonna get into it. So what better way to start this fall themed pumpkin spice cheat day than with donuts. Here we go. Few things in life can compare to a fresh, hot off the belt, Krispy Kreme glazed donut. Oh my God. This is my father's favorite donut of all time. So I guess you could say I'm just carrying on an old family tradition. So the point of today's video is not to hit a certain amount of calories. It's not a calorie challenge. Uh, it's just to try a bunch of limited edition foods, foods that you don't see year round and just enjoy the day. So we're gonna start with Dunkin' Donuts. All right, first up on the menu is their pumpkin cake donut. It's very moist. <laughs> Sorry for everyone that doesn't like that word. You can taste a lot of the spice. It's not warm, uh, so that's unfortunate. It would be better warmed up in the microwave or something, but um, seven out of 10, it's all right. All right, next comes the highly anticipated Krispy Kreme. So they had two fall pumpkin donuts. One is the cake donut, and then the other is their uh, filled donut. So it's got like some cream cheese filling or something. We're going to start with the cake donut. So here's the comparison to Duncan. It doesn't taste as pumpkin-y. It doesn't even look that orange. But I enjoy this donut more because it's crispy on the outside and soft and fluffy on the inside. This reminds me of like one of those sour cream donuts. Okay, and here is their pumpkin cream filled. You can see on the bottom where they inject all the filling. Wow. That is awesome this one wins last but not least I got a little extra uh, this is one of my favorite donuts besides like a maple bacon bar I love raspberry filled donuts perfect every time Eight forty-eight. Next item on the list, found some pumpkin spice oats. So this is just instant oatmeal with 
I guess, pumpkin and cinnamon in it. Let's see. Man. I mean, how do you compare that to donuts? What I noticed while shopping for all these pumpkin spice foods was that most of these foods are breakfast foods, which is great for me because I love breakfast. So up next, we've got pumpkin spice English muffins. Fresh out of the toaster, light and crispy. First thoughts, tastes like a regular English muffin with just a finishing taste of pumpkin. Very, very slight uh, aftertaste. It's good. While I was walking through the grocery store looking for pumpkin spice items, I found bagels and cream cheese, which in the off season when I'm trying to put on weight, I eat like two or three bagels a morning. Uh, but I found an item at Einstein's that I would much rather have. So with that being said, all right, so here uh, we've got a pumpkin walnut crunch bagel from Einstein's. That was a fail. I guess there's all the walnuts that fell off. And this has pumpkin spread. This is so messy. Mm. It's really good though. For 500 calories, it better be good. All right, here's another close up shot of it. This pumpkin spread is awesome. Bagel's really good, Einstein's is amazing. I love bagels. Work the mess. Really glad I'm not eating this in my vehicle. Okay, I'm gonna finish the pumpkin spice oats, the second half of the pumpkin English muffin, and the second half of the pumpkin walnut crunch bagel. I've also got a whey protein shake here that is oatmeal cookie flavored. That's kind of fall-like. And then in that shake, I put five grams of creatine monohydrate. Five grams, no loading, most researched supplement of all time, creatine for gains. All right, just got back from the gym. Uh, in the midst of all of this pumpkin stuff, I wanted to show you my lunch so this is from a place called coconut thai grill i got the chicken satay the coconut chicken entree it comes with a side salad and steamed rice i'm gonna throw this coconut sriracha on it and then a diet mango snapple the next item on the list today pumpkin spice cheerios you're gonna see what a real bowl of cereal looks like. This is beautiful. I could have one of these every single night and be happy. These are awesome. I'm not the biggest fan of regular Honey Nut Cheerios. Like I think they taste kind of bland, but the Maple Cheerios, the Banana Nut Cheerios, the Peach Cheerios, the Blueberry Cheerios, those are all amazing. And you can throw this right in there with those. This is really good. All right, I'm gonna get to work on this is four till three 
and I finished off that whole box of cereal, got showered, cleaned up, um, and I've got five things here that I'm just gonna rapid fire try. The first of which is the official drink of sorority girls everywhere, not named White Claw. So it is the infamous pumpkin spice latte. Uh, it is currently hotter than hell still in Texas. It's like 97 degrees outside. So I opted for the iced version and I'm not a coffee drinker. So this is going to be interesting. Got my Oktoberfest mug. All right, so this is my very first iced pumpkin spice latte. That's disgusting. That is gross. Ugh. Uh, this is huge. I don't know why I got the biggest one. So for my younger sister, if you're watching this, if you like this, then it's yours. Next, I've got pumpkin spice swirl bread, like toast. Um, I'm a big fan of like the cinnamon raisin one of these and the strawberry one. So this one is freshly toasted, as you can see. That's really good. It's not as good as the cinnamon raisin one. That one's probably my all time favorite. But this tastes like really good crisp toast. The bread's not too thick, not too thin. Um, and it's got little pumpkin tidbits in there. Very good. Next we'll try Pop-Tarts. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to toast one and eat the other one cold. That way I can have one of each uh, just to see. Cause I know some people swear by toasting Pop-Tarts and some people just eat them regular. Toast. All right, so this is the frosted pumpkin pie. It kind of tastes like the brown sugar cinnamon one. Actually, those two are really identical. I'm not gonna lie, eating that whole box of pumpkin spice Cheerios kind of has me sugared out. Now let's try the warm one. Wow. Honestly, that makes a big difference. The toasted one is much better. I was walking through Kroger to get milk and I passed these in the aisle. Pumpkin fritters. I'm a huge fan of apple fritters, big fan of blueberry fritters. Let's see how the pumpkin is. This is so good. Unfortunately, it's not like, well, first they're not warm. Second of all, it's not crispy on the outside, like uh, ones that come off the belt from Krispy Kreme or Dunkin'. But for 250 at Kroger, it's good. Okay, last but not least, 
Item number five, cinnamon streusel coffee cakes. These are tiny. Tons of cinnamon sugar. Only one way to eat this. If you like coffee, this would go perfect with it, obviously. It's a coffee cake. I don't like coffee, but I would chase that down with a big glass of milk, and that is bomb. That was really good. All right, it is 9.52, and the next three items on the list are a pumpkin cinnamon roll. Wallace men love their cinnamon rolls. I'm gonna see if I can find a picture to insert here. Amazing. Late night cinnamon rolls. All right, the next item is the pumpkin cream pie from the Walmart bakery. Very light. It would be easy to eat a full size. I think I know what I'm gonna do on Thanksgiving. That is amazing. Third item, the infamous DQ Blizzard. This is a, I think they call it a pumpkin pie blizzard. It's got whipped cream and nutmeg on top. This is the perfect fall dessert. We are wrapping up today's fall themed pumpkin cheat day. It is 11.23 and I'm just gonna watch some Netflix. Got one last dessert, go figure. Bluebell's new ice cream flavor, salted caramel cookie. So the description reads, caramel flavored ice cream with vanilla cream filled cookies and a salted caramel swirl. Okay, then we're going to try these limited edition maple cream Oreos. I was never the, the biggest fan of Oreos growing up. Something flipped in the past two weeks and I cannot stop eating Oreos. And last but not least, found these in line. White chunk pumpkin cookies. So, three things to try. Starting with my favorite, the ice cream. Wow, it has like a like a very strong caramel, very maple syrupy flavor. Bluebell can do no wrong. And you get these little cookies inside. That's really good. They're huge chunks, huge chunks of cookies. Look at that. Let's try one of these pumpkin cookies. Big white chocolate chunks in them. Oh, they're really soft. Not an overpowering pumpkin flavor. Very soft, very rich. Walmart, Walmart bakery actually kills it.
these are these are damn good finally god bless oreos wow absolute flames it's like they somehow infused syrup in these cookies that is stupid good today has been an amazing day filled with everything basic that i could find going to bed full which I should after like four desserts. Thank you so much for watching my fall theme cheat day. I had a great time filming all this, even better time eating. And uh, if you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe. It would help me a bunch. Until next time, ciao.